Have you ever watched a toddler learn? They stumble, fall, cry, and then, out of nowhere, they figure it out. They learn not because someone coded them, but because they experience the world. Now here's the real question. Can AI ever learn like that? Can a machine develop something as human, as magical, as common sense? Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll see how AI is not just learning from data, but trying to think like a child. And trust me, some of the results are both brilliant and hilariously weird. The problem. AI is smart, but not wise. Let's start here. Artificial intelligence can solve math faster than Einstein, translate languages instantly, and even write poetry. But here's the catch. Ask it something simple, like, if I put an ice cube in the sun, what happens? And sometimes, it just goes blank. That's because AI doesn't understand the world the way we do. It's great at knowing, but not at understanding. Humans build knowledge from life, from touching, feeling, failing, and repeating. Machines, they just process patterns. So the big challenge today is, can AI learn the way a child learns? From experience and exploration, not just data. How children learn. Curiosity and common sense. Children don't start life with a database of facts. They explore. They touch fire once and never again. They throw toys, taste mud, break stuff. And every action teaches a lesson. That's common sense learning. The ability to connect cause and effect through real-world experience. And here's where scientists got inspired. They thought, what if we could make AI learn the same way? This led to a whole new field called developmental AI, where researchers try to mimic how babies learn, not how adults think. Meet baby AI, learning from experience. Let's talk about one of the coolest experiments. MIT researchers created what they call baby AI, an AI that watches short videos and learns basic physical rules, like what happens if a ball rolls off a table or hits another ball. At first, baby AI failed miserably. It thought objects could float, teleport, and even pass through walls. But over time, as it saw more examples, it started to predict outcomes, just like a baby learns gravity through play. Funny story, one AI was shown thousands of videos of people dropping things. So, when asked what happens if you drop your phone, it confidently said, you'll buy a new one. That's not wrong, but definitely not scientific common sense. The missing ingredient, emotion and context. Here's what's fascinating. Kids don't just learn logic, they learn emotion and context. They feel happiness when they're praised and guilt when they're scolded. That emotional feedback shapes their behavior. AI doesn't have that emotional compass. It can recognize a smile, but doesn't feel happiness. It can detect sadness, but doesn't understand why someone cries. That's why even the most advanced AI can't fully develop common sense. Because common sense is not only thinking right, it's also feeling right. The rise of self-learning models. Still, scientists aren't giving up. They're working on something called self-supervised learning, the same way a child learns without a teacher. In this method, AI predicts what comes next in a sentence, image, or video. If it gets it wrong, it adjusts again and again. It's almost like how a baby keeps dropping a spoon just to see what happens next. The more AI does this, the better it gets at understanding the world, not just memorizing it. For example, Google's Palm E robot was trained to look at a kitchen counter and figure out how to make a sandwich without being told every single step. It learned through trial and error. That's basically toddler energy in machine form. The AI toddler moment. A research lab once gave a robot an orange and asked it to peel it. The robot stared for 10 minutes, then crushed the orange like the Hulk. It wasn't being mean. It simply didn't understand delicacy. To it, the command was literal. Scientists realized that AI had no concept of gentle, a word every two-year-old understands instinctively. That single failure taught researchers how far AI is from childlike learning. The power of interaction. Learning through play. Kids learn best through play, not textbooks. And now, AI is learning the same way. There's a fascinating project called Embodied AI, where machines are put into robotic bodies so they can physically explore. They bump into walls, pick up toys, and navigate rooms. Every mistake helps them improve their mental model of the world. Think of it this way. 
A robot learns about a door, not from a picture, but from trying to open it. That's how common sense begins to form, through physical interaction. The human brain versus AI brain. Our brains have billions of neural connections formed from emotions, touch, sound, and memory. AI, on the other hand, has artificial neural networks built from math. When a child sees a dog bark, they connect the sound, motion, and emotion. Oh, that's what barking means. When AI sees the same thing, it just stores it as data. Image, dog, sound, bark. No meaning, no feeling, no understanding of why dogs bark. That's the gap researchers are desperately trying to close. AI and the theory of mind. One of the biggest frontiers in AI learning is the theory of mind. The idea that others have thoughts, beliefs, and feelings. A five-year-old understands that if you hide a toy, their friend won't know where it is. AI, on the other hand, struggles with that. It assumes everyone knows everything, because it does. To build true human-like understanding, AI needs to learn that others think differently. That's the first step toward empathy. And perhaps toward real consciousness. The overconfident robot. In another test, an AI assistant was asked to bring a red cup. It found a red photo of a cup on the wall, took a screenshot, and proudly said, Here you go, coffee. It had technically completed the task. But not in the way humans expect. Moments like these show us how AI logic can be hilariously literal. And why it's still far from thinking like a child. Why common sense is hard to code. Here's the truth. You can teach AI all the rules in the world, but common sense isn't a rule book. It's a feeling. A mix of instinct, experience, and culture. That's why even massive language models like ChatGPT or Gemini sometimes make bizarre mistakes because they don't actually know what's real. They just predict what sounds right. And that prediction game can't replace years of lived human experience. The future can AI ever truly understand? So, can AI truly develop common sense? Experts believe, maybe, but not yet. We're teaching machines to see, hear, touch, and even imagine. But the magic of human learning lies in something deeper. Emotion, purpose, and experience. Still, every new model brings us a step closer. Who knows? Maybe in the next decade, AI won't just answer questions. It'll ask why. And when that day comes, it'll mean AI has taken its first real step into human-like thinking. Wrap-up and engagement. So what do you think? Can AI ever develop real common sense, like a child? Or will it always just be an imitation of understanding? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every one of them. And hey, if you enjoyed this journey into the mind of machines, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss the next episode, where we dive into another question that will blow your mind. Because this is where curiosity meets intelligence.